We pause now for a moment to see how far we've traveled and where the rest of our journey lies. The Jordan flows out of the Sea of Galilee, continues south, and with Jericho and Jerusalem to the west, enters the Dead Sea. From Galilee to the Dead Sea is about 65 miles direct, but the river meanders so that it traverses at least 200 miles. Let us take up our journey again. The Jordan leaves the Sea of Galilee as a much wider river, very different from the rippling stream that emerged from the springs of Dan. Travelers stop at the riverside to water their camels and to rest. The ever-present herdsmen with their flocks make their way along the road, always in search of fresh pastures. The sheep and goats are mingled together, just as they must have been in the time of Christ, for he referred to the separating of the sheep from the goats at the Day of Judgment. In the surrounding country, we find fertile agricultural land farmed on large-scale modern lines. The grain is reaped by a big combine harvester, which cuts the corn, threshes it and bags it as it moves along, casting out the bales of straw as it goes, while a single man at the wheel guides its powerful caterpillar tracks. Compare this with the reapers in a neighboring farm, still using the ancient saw as they did thousands of years ago, and Ruth, the woman Moab, in the ears of the corn which the reapers left behind. About eight miles south of Galilee, the Jordan is joined by its main tributary, the Yark, which enters through a steep and rugged gorge. Where the two